Just like other fish, rainbow fish can also suffer from many serious diseases that can badly impact their vibrant colours and sadly can have a serious impact on their lives. In this video we're going to take a look at how to identify some diseases and what you have to do to treat them. And if you've never been to my channel before, welcome. So today we're going to look at five diseases that affect rainbow fish. Not just exclusively affect rainbow fish, so if you don't keep rainbow fish it's worth watching the video anyway. Um, these five diseases that I've picked out today will affect rainbow fish but will also, if not treated correctly, can wipe out your entire aquarium. So today we'll start off and we'll take a look at the anchor worm. So the anchor worm is a parasitic crustacean. It's native to Eurasia, but sadly it has been introduced into the United Kingdom and also the United States. It will thrive in water temperatures ranging from 23 to 30 degrees Celsius, which is 73 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's highly contagious amongst all fish. It can be introduced into your aquarium easily if you don't quarantine newly added fish. Once it's been added into your aquarium, it can spread rapidly. So what are we looking out for with an anchor worm? You can be looking for symptoms where your fish will be rubbing itself against the gravel, against any hardscape that you've got in the aquarium, trying to knock the parasite off. If you look closely, there'll be like a whitish green kind of thread that comes from the fish's skin. And at the anchor point, where it's attached to the fish, that'll be slightly inflamed and raised. The anchor worm can also be found in the oral cavity of your fish as well. So once you've identified the problem as anchor worm, how do we treat it? Well, common methods include physically removing the anchor worm with tweezers and then treating the open wound with iodine or also you can remove the fish once a day and bathe it in a salt water solution just for five minutes and repeat that daily until the parasite actually falls off the fish. The next disease we're going to take a look at today that will affect your rainbow fish is ick. Now ick or white spot is a parasitic disease which appears like small salt granule dots on your rainbow fish's body. It also affects its gills, the skin and the fins of the host fish. It's a serious disease as it will feed on the red blood cells of its host. And if it's not treated immediately, this can result in the host fish's death. So if your rainbow fish has been affected by it, it's going to show symptoms, like I say, where there's going to be the appearance of white, salt, grain sized dots on the skin of your fish, which may be slightly raised. The infection will irritate the skin and it'll make the host fish scratch against objects. It can also cause clamped fins and the fish may gasp at the surface of the water. Now it usually attacks fish when they are stressed, stress which can be caused by rapid temperature changes or pH fluctuations or any change in your water parameters that could stress your fish out, then it will take advantage of that and find a host. So to treat ick, well there are many different products out there, most if not all are a continued addition of treatment to the aquarium daily 
over a specific amount of days obviously depending on which products you use you go off their information just remember to remove any carbon out of your filtration system turn off any UV sterilizers etc and just check because a lot of treatments for diseases will kill shrimp and snails what you also have to watch for with it is once you've been treated um, secondary infections they are quite common so the next thing to look out for on your rainbow fish aquarium would be fungus now with fungus you will initially notice like a grayy whitish growth on the skin or on the fins of the host fish untreated it'll look like a cottony flossy growth and will eat away at the fish's body sadly resulting in the fish's death to treat a fungus infection within your rainbow fish aquarium again remove any carbon that's in your filtration system turn off any UV light system that you have operating if you have one operating and then just carefully go off the instructions of whichever treatment it is you choose or whichever treatment you can get hold of always remember again check the packaging if you have shrimp in there if you have any snails in there certain products um, will kill your shrimp and snails so just be aware of that the fourth thing on my list of diseases that can affect rainbow fish are flukes now flukes are a one millimeter long flatworm that often live in your aquarium and remain harmless under the ideal conditions but any change in those conditions water parameters change temperature ph or overcrowding of the aquarium which will cause your fish stress then this parasite will attack and can have devastating results in your aquarium. It will attach itself to the gills or the skin of its host, and it kind of looks similar to it, but its telltale sign that makes it different from it is its movement and possibly eye spots, which may be seen under magnification, which it does not have. It can be treated with a good parasite treatment following instructions again on the product that you buy just be aware again secondary infections are common the last disease we're going to take a look at in today's video that affects rainbow fish is velvet or gold dust disease now velvet in fish can be deadly for your whole tank this disease can quickly kill everything in your aquarium fish which have velvet you'll find them scratching their bodies on hard surfaces as they try to remove the parasite from the skin the fish will also become quite lethargic breathing will become labored and heavy and they'll stop eating and obviously then begin to lose weight you may find also that the fish will hold its fins next to its body to, to look at it, its appearance it's like a yellow to like a rusty coloured dust which will also appear on the host fish's body in severe cases it may cause peeling of the fish's skin velvet is caused by a parasite which i'll be honest i'm not even going to attempt to tell you its name so i will put it on screen for you now that may be present in your aquarium and it'll only attack your fish if there are issues that will cause stress to your fish again like water parameter changes temperature changes any fluctuation which can cause stress to your fish the parasite will then attack your fish because its defense system has been weakened 
velvet can be treated by increasing the temperature of your aquarium by a couple of degrees and dim the lights for a good few days and then treat it with copper sulfate for around about 10 days to treat velvet removal of the infected fish is a must and remember copper will kill shrimp and possibly kill snails too so it's definitely better to quarantine your fish during its treatment for velvet. So there we have five diseases that can affect rainbow fish, not only rainbow fish, but any fish within your aquarium. And there's a common denominator with every one. And that is once your fish become stressed, they are then prone to get disease parasites attacking them so what is key is stability when you're doing water changes rainbow fish prefer large water changes now in countries like the UK during the summer large water changes are quite simple to do but when it comes to winter a large water change will massively affect the temperature of your aquarium so if you can kind of get drums of water up to room temperature before you do your massive water change that's great otherwise just add the water slowly so it doesn't stress out your fish as I say, common denominator of all fish disease is stress. Keep your fish from getting stressed and hopefully, fingers crossed, you won't have a problem with any of the diseases that I've brought to your attention today. I do hope that you've enjoyed today's video and if so, if you can click the like button because that helps the channel grow so much and uh, click the subscribe button and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Take care.